Hey guys, uh, today's video is about the comma serial, which is right here. It's a really cool tool that is used for the comma three. And not many people have their hands, have had their hands on it yet, um, but I've been a, a beta tester for it or alpha tester for the last several months. And one of the best tools for um, debugging strange situations was the comma serial, which is just this little PCB. And it's got some writing on it. If you look carefully, it says to device and to PC. So the to PC side has a USB mini and that USB mini goes to USB A in this case, which is connected to my computer. The to device is a USB A and that goes to USB C, which is connected to the OBD C port. And then we have the power, which is a barrel connector, the same that you would find on a giraffe or a jungle. And that's going to a 12 volt AC to DC adapter. And so what we're dealing with here is all stuff that we're going to just be um, doing in the terminal. So I have some important commands highlighted here. So you're used to the SSH uh, command, probably. And the serial, the, the serial command that I have highlighted is um, what I'm going to use on my Red Hat Linux distribution. But Mac users might find the other command more useful. And there's the user pass, which is comma, comma. And since we're using the screen utility, which is one of many ways to serially attach, uh, but the screen in this case, if you're wanting to detach, you do control A and then D. So anyway, um, let's test this out. It's sometimes buggy, but let's see if it works this time. So I'm highlighting that. And we'll go here and see if I can paste it. And it's asking for a password. Now that's the password to my PC. So let me punch that in. And I hit enter. Okay, and this is where we punch in comma, comma. Okay, cool. So this is the uh, splash, the welcome herald. Um, so you can do just anything that you would normally do at the command prompt. Um, but one of the cooler things is that this is a, a little bit lower level of an access where you can, for example, monitor it booting up. Now here you can see also um, like my IP address is displayed. Uh, the temperature is actually not accurate there. But um, actually that was the first thing, first bug that I ever reported on this. And they still haven't updated that, but it's not a big deal. Anyway, let's get a SSH um, session open just so you can see the difference. And here you can see we got color. So that's kind of cool. Everything else is basically the same though. Uh, now let's say I wanted to reboot this. If I was to reboot the device, I'm gonna lose the SSH connection, but this serial connection is gonna stay active, which is really cool. So uh, let's see that in action. So that's gonna be sudo, 
and I don't know why it is displaying just a few characters. D O. Hmm. Let me punch it in here. Pseudo reboot. Okay, I'm gonna hit enter. It's gonna drop this connection, but I'm gonna switch back over to the uh, serial connection and then we can watch what happens. So you can see it counting up from zero doing all sorts of fun stuff. Now I can hear the fan ramp up. You can see what, what's going on there. Okay. Now this is going there, that looks good. And I suspect if I hit enter, it'll have a login prompt, yep. Okay. So that's it. Um, like I said, the serial connection can be a little bit buggy. I did have some open issue on it and um, it wasn't quite related to the lag thing that I uh, kind of experienced here. But um, normally if I just disconnect everything and reboot the device, then the connection, all that stuff will work a lot better. Other people had the same issue. Um, to some extent, but I was a little bit more vocal about it. Uh, but anyway, this is really just more of a thing for debugging. And like I said, you can use other utilities besides screen to get in, like you can use putty, for example, that's another favorite tool. So um, this is uh, gonna be one of maybe a few videos that I, that I do, uh, this is cool. This is um, shows the SSD that I have in here, which is a Samsung 980 one terabyte. That's what you'll find in the cross country. But anyway, I digress. Uh, get that comma serial if you like to play around with your device. And um, it's like $20 in the shop. And uh, ask me online in the Discord if you have any questions. Thanks, bye.